Hey y'all, it's been a while. Welcome back to another episode of Jamie's Car Diaries. And today I want to talk about my Land Rover Discovery 4. It's a bittersweet moment. Why? It's because I have uh, treated in my car and I spent eight long years driving this uh, D4. I got it in June of 2012. Yeah, it's been eight long years. And I can easily consider this car as the best car I've ever driven. Twin turbo diesel, three liters. So let's go through the pros of having a car like the D4. Terrain control, yes, you know, you can. I can raise the height, I can lower the height. Um, it's got hill descent, and then um, you know, as you go, uh, if you go, as, if you go down a slope, you can engage this basically and engage. It's got the terrain control, gravel, snow. Again, fancy features that I have never used uh, in Singapore. And now, what are the things I don't like about this are uh, the knobs here. You know, it gets sticky over time. So, what you could actually purchase. Uh, over on AliExpress is that you've got these knobs that you can just overlay silver knobs so then it would just you know just replace no it wouldn't replace it would just uh, snap over and then you've got nice silver knobs same thing I did with this start stop engine button here it's like this is actually overlaid so that it looks a little bit fancier uh, over time it's been eight years you know the these these things start to fade away and then of course you've got your cruise control the call button the end call button and yeah these are analog dials not digital dials all right about the how about the d4 are the foldable seats the rear actually allows you to sit another two full-size adults uh lots of space behind Lots and lots of space. Just about the car, it comes with Harman Kardon sound system. So the sound system is pretty great. It's extremely spacious. I just upholstered my car, but then I, you know, the thought of the running cost of um, of owning it is just going to increase with each passing year. Um, brand new leather from Jack Speed. Uh, extremely spacious. Lots of stuff. Lots of compartments. This is my D4 and I'm gonna miss it. All the dials are on top. You've got charging ports below. You've got air vents here. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it so much. Also not forgetting the fuel efficiency. This thing runs on diesel. A full tank of gas will get me anywhere from 550 kilometers to about 615 kilometers that's not too bad i go to smart energy in singapore they have like discounted diesel prices and a full tank will cost me 80 dollars and 80 dollars i get by anything from 550 to 615 depending on how heavy my right foot is so that is pretty good fuel efficiency for a car this big I am really gonna miss my D4. I wanna give it, I wanna pay a tribute to it, you know, my, by doing a video so that, you know, that it can be a reminder that uh, I've driven this awesome car. At some point in my life, I fixed the snorkel myself, I fixed the side steps myself, I fixed the rear spoiler myself. I fixed, uh, what else did I fix? Oh yeah, uh, the front bumper, you know. I fixed the under panel as well. I fixed the front grille myself. I also fixed the rear tail light protector myself. Yeah, so I did a lot of stuff in this car and um, it's, it's really with so much regret that I have to trade it in because it's nearing the 10 year mark. You know, I will have to renew the COE. And this is when I'm gonna go into the downsides of actually owning a car in Singapore. It's very unfortunate. It's because 
we have a 10 year lifespan on all cars that we buy. It's, a, it's called a certificate of entitlement. So every 10 years, the car needs to be renewed with a brand new COE. And the whole problem with that is that um, I wouldn't call it a skewed model or a flawed model. This is to make sure that all cars are roadworthy. Uh, the government stipulates that all cars must have a 10 year COE, uh, the certificate of entitlement in order to drive the car so that all the cars in Singapore, you know, the emissions and everything is perfect. You know, it's not gonna um, leach um, poisonous gases out into the air. But um, that's the downside. And one other thing about about collectors in general. Why is it that vintage cars in Singapore is a very expensive hobby? So if you're gonna upkeep the car, if you're gonna renew the COE, it also means that your road tax is gonna uh, increase by 50%. So my road tax, this being a 3D thick car, my road tax is about like 3,000 plus, it's gonna go all the way to like 4,000 plus. So as, as wonderful as the D4 has been in the last eight years, I can no longer entertain the thought of driving it for, for beyond its 10 year lifespan. So it's really unfortunate, uh, but I really, really love this car so much. And I, it's just pure, absolute joy. It's never given me uh, too much problems. Um, there's this great um, uh, workshop that I go to. Kudos to Edge Vantage, that's E-D-G-E Vantage Auto. It's at 160 Singming Drive, Singmi Auto City 03-01 slash 02. Look for this guy called Yo if you're driving. If you happen to drive a D4 and if you need a second opinion or you need another um, you know, mechanic to just uh, check out your D4, you know, this guy is great. I've used him for the last couple of years, you know, when, when my warranty ended with uh, Wien's Automotive. Um, and he's taking care of this car. And oh, another feature I like about the D4, this one comes with a sunroof. Another feature that I have never ever used. So the next car I get, I will probably not spend the additional money to get a, a sunroof. Um, it's got a rear moonroof as well. And it's got another moonroof on the third row seat. So, yeah, so it's got like three panels on the top. Um, never used it. So again, you know, this is a tribute to my Land Rover Discovery Four. I love it. Uh, if you guys, or if you are, if you guys are fans, or if anyone out there is a fan of the D Four, um, drop me a comment below and tell me what you, uh, what your thoughts are about driving it. Um, did you guys have as much fun as I did? Let me know. Uh, it's the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. Uh, that basically concludes the...